As is known, Romanticism attaches special significance to human being as an individual and we are aware that Romanticism was in fact a response to enlightenment. Proceeding from this, in order to analyze the work of an author of the Romanticism period, it would be appropriate to analyze the attitude of Romanticists towards human upbringing and education. Naturally, the works of Nikolaus Baratashvili are not an exception in this regard. Um, thus, we may recall the memoirs of his contemporaries. For example, Yona Meonarkia writes in his memoirs that Nikolaus Baratashvili repeatedly became a victim of violence of his father. Uh, despotism on the part of parents wa was regarded as a norm at that period. For example, according to Lessing, if a child is punished periodically, Afterwards, reaching the age of intellectual maturity, he will realize fully the benefits brought by such so-called strict method of upbringing. In the case of Nikolaus Barateshvili, we may recall that in the gymnasium years he translated the tragedy Julius of Tarent by Johann Anton Lysowitz. Nikolaus Barateshvili's interest in this text clearly indicates that he was not indifferent to the issues related to libertarian upbringing. The intellectuals of the new generation, the figures of the Romanticism period, opposed their predecessors regarding the methods of upbringing. We can also recall here Baratashvili's poem The Mysterious Voice, in which he mentions a very significant concept. Uh, it is the voice of the conscience, uh, which is in fact the superego. Decades later, already Freud will construct his theory in which the superego means suppression of personal aspirations in favor of the society. We can also mention here the poem The Earl King by Goethe, which is in certain clue for understanding the mysterious voice by Bharatashvili. In Goethe's poem, two positions are opposed, those of a father and a son. The father's position consists of the answers characteristic of enlightenment, whereas the questions of the son are more typical of romanticism. Hence, uh, here reason and feeling, enlightenment and romanticism oppose each other. In this case, the father explains everything, what the son sees in the parallel world by natural phenomena. What cannot be explained by the rationalism characteristic of enlightenment uh, enters in the form of the voice and in the case of the voice is exactly the mis mysterious voice which is hinted at in Baratashvili's poem. According to Fichte, uh, when suppressed, subdued aspirations rise uh, to the surface, they flood and wash away everything on their way. In Baratashvili's case, the, his energy was sublimated on the one hand in poetry and on the other hand at school in the circle of his friends, classmates, and later on in the environment of Tbilisi evenings, when he acted quite scandalously, was distinguished by mordancy to a quite great extent. From the viewpoint of human aspiration towards freedom, it is impossible not to mention Baratashvili's poem, his magnum opus, Merani. And what is charming in Merani? The writer of Merani always caused admiration due to its uh, faithfulness to the idea, self-sacrifice and opposition to fate. But what is opposition to fate? Uh, the very significant concept in Merani is the bounds of fate to overcome, which uh, the rider is striving. The bounds of fate are what the environment, the social and political and other fa factors set for the human being, putting him within certain frames. All this at the same time is related to the concept of potentiality, significant for Romanticism. The concept of potentiality implies that every human being is born with a certain potential, but the point is how much she or he will be given an opportunity to show his or her potential, whether the external factors will be favorable for him or her to reveal his or her potential. In such a case, going against fate or going beyond the bounds of fate is exactly overcoming these given situations, social and political boundaries, going beyond uh, the frames established by a certain society. In such a case, similar persons become leaders and their 
efforts already become foundations of social changes. The person of the period of Romanticism were exactly such persons. They created myths about themselves. For them, reality was the theater, and they were trying to play the leading role in this theater. And in such case, self-sacrifice is related exactly to their endeavor of playing a leading role. Exactly such persons were the Romanticism period thinkers, artists, politicians. And Nicolas Baratashvili with his works ranks exactly among them. Da I am Rikshi, Matrikshi, Etzere Bas, Oret Nikolos Baratashvili, Tavis Shemukhvitevit.